An induction generator or asynchronous generator is a type of alternating current electrical generator that uses the principles of induction motors to produce power. Induction generators operate by mechanically turning their rotors faster than synchronous speed. A regular AC asynchronous motor usually can be used as a generator, without any internal modifications. Induction generators are useful in applications such as mini hydropower plants, wind turbines, or in reducing high pressure gas streams to lower pressure, because they can recover energy with relatively simple controls. An induction generator usually draws its excitation power from an electrical grid. Sometimes, however, they are self excited by using phase correcting capacitors. Because of this, Induction generators cannot usually black start a de-energized distribution system. Principle of operation, an induction generator produces electrical power when its rotor is turned faster than the synchronous speed. For a typical four-pole motor operating on a 60 Hz electrical grid, the synchronous speed is 1800 rotations per minute. The same four-pole motor operating on a 50 Hz grid will have a synchronous speed of 1500 RPMs. The motor normally turns slightly slower than the synchronous speed. The difference between synchronous and operating speed is called slip, and is usually expressed as percent of the synchronous speed. For example, a motor operating at 1450 rpms that has a synchronous speed of 1500 rpms is running at a slip of plus 3.3 percent. In normal motor operation, the state of flux rotation is faster than the rotor rotation. This causes the stator flux to induce rotor currents, which create a rotor flux with magnetic polarity opposite to stator. In this way, the rotor is dragged along behind stator flux, with the currents in the rotor induced at the slip frequency. In generator operation, a prime mover drives the rotor above the synchronous speed. The stator flux still induces currents in the rotor, but since the opposing rotor flux is now cutting the stator coils, an active current is produced in stator coils and the motor now operates as a generator, sending power back to the electrical grid. Equals excitation equals. An induction machine requires externally supplied armature current. It cannot start on its own as a generator. Because the rotor field always lags behind the stator field, the induction machine always consumes reactive power, regardless of whether it is operating as a generator or a motor. A source of excitation current for magnetizing flux for the stator is still required, to induce rotor current. This can be supplied from the electrical grid or, once it starts producing power, from the generator itself. Equals active power equals, active power delivered to the line is proportional to slip above the synchronous speed. Full rated power of the generator is reached at very small slip values. At synchronous speed of 1800 rpms, generator will produce no power. When the driving speed is increased to 1860 rpms, full output power is produced. If the prime mover is unable to produce enough power to fully drive the generator, speed will remain somewhere between 1800 and 1860 rpms range. Equals required capacitance equals a capacitor bank must supply reactive power to the motor when used in standalone mode. The reactive power supplied should be equal or greater than the reactive power that the machine normally draws when operating as a motor. Terminal voltage will increase with capacitance, but is limited by iron saturation. Equals torque versus slip equals, the basic fundamental of induction generators is the conversion between mechanical energy to electrical energy. This requires an external torque applied to the rotor to turn it faster than the synchronous speed. However, indefinitely increasing torque doesn't lead to an indefinite increase in power generation. The rotating magnetic field torque excited from the armature works to counter the motion of the rotor and prevent overspeed because of induced motion in the opposite direction. As the speed of the motor increases the counter torque reaches a max value of torque that it can operate until before the operating conditions become unstable. Ideally, Induction generators work best in the stable region between the no-load condition and maximum torque region. Equals maximum pass-through current equals, in practice and without taking this notion into account, many users unsuccessfully apply the principles to the actual deployment. It's not in popular belief. That in almost every case, under the same active grid voltage, 
the power that the generator produces is greater than the power it consumes when it is at the motor, fully loaded state. It's rated power. Sometimes the differences are in multiple folds. Higher the power means higher the amperage. For prolonged operation, and implied in its guaranteed, each motor has its a euro OE maximum pass through current a euro. This amperage value, the current density, is derived from the maximum pass through current property of the internal copper magnet wire and the combined configuration of their connections. Without opening up the unit to examine the internal setting of the copper wires, a division of the wattage of its rated power by its rated voltage can give users some senses of how much that value is. Therefore claims of making a unit generates more power than its rated should get a closer examination. Grid and standalone connections. In induction generators, the reactive power required to establish the air gap magnetic flux is provided by a capacitor bank connected to the machine in case of standalone system and in case of grid connection it draws reactive power from the grid to maintain its air gap flux. For a grid connected system, frequency and voltage at the machine will be dictated by the electric grid, since it is very small compared to the whole system. For standalone systems, Frequency and voltage are complex function of machine parameters, capacitance used for excitation, and load value and type. Use of induction generators Induction generators are often used in wind turbines and some micro-hydro installations due to their ability to produce useful power at varying rotor speeds. Induction generators are mechanically and electrically simpler than other generator types. They are also more rugged, requiring no brushes or commutators. Induction generators are particularly suitable for wind generating stations as in this case speed is always a variable factor. Unlike synchronous motors, induction generators are load dependent and cannot be used alone for grid frequency control. Example application, as an example, consider the use of a 10 horsepower, 1760 rankings per minute, 440 V, three-phase induction motor as an asynchronous generator. The full load current of the motor is 10A and the full load power factor is 0.8. Required capacitance per phase if capacitors are connected and delta, apparent power S equals H3 EI equals 1.73 A, 440 A, 10 equals 76 12 VA, active power P equals S cos I equals 76 12 A, 0 0.8 equals 60 90 W. Reactive power Q equals equals 4567 VAR, for a machine to run as an asynchronous generator, capacitor bank must supply minimum 4567 slash 3 phases equals 1523 VAR per phase. Voltage per capacitor is 440 V because capacitors are connected in delta. Capacitive current IC equals QE equals 1523 440s equals 3.46 A. Capacitive reactance per phase X C equals E I equals 127 I copyright, minimum capacitance per phase, C equals 1 slash equals 1 slash equals 21 microfarads. If the load also absorbs reactive power, capacitor bank must be increased in size to compensate. Prime mover speed should be used to generate frequency of 60 Hz, typically, slip should be similar to full load value when machine is running as motor, but negative. If NS equals 1800, one can choose N equals NS plus 40 RPMs, required prime mover speed N equals 1800 plus 40 equals 1840 RPMs. See also, electrical generator. Notes. References, electrical machines, drives, and power systems, 4th edition, Theodore Wilde, Prentice Hall, ISBN 0-13-082460-7. Pages 311 a Euro 314. External links, Testing of Standalone and Grid Connected Asynchronous Generator.